dedicated, I dedicate this to single moms. I'm a single mother. Mm -hmm. um, I've been in Alabama now for like a year and a half. I came down here um, actually to go to dental school to be a dentist, and I just like left everybody, everything, and just moved down here. And when I got here, the poetry kind of found me when I got here. So I've been performing it since I got here. Um, Langston Hughes has a poem called Mother to Son. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that poem, but it's a, a poem, a mother speaking to her son about her struggles. And this is my version of Mother to Son. I wrote this for my son, and I dedicate it to all single moms. And it's called Mother to Son. <laughs> son, when I look into your eyes, I see the promise of a king. And I find myself remembering the very first time I held you, there was so much I wanted to tell you. But it seems there was a change in plans, and I've had to come to terms with the fact that I'm not qualified to raise a man. Uh, but despite that fact, I'm determined to do the best I can to keep you off the streets, out of prisons, and the graveyard. Son, I made your bed hard, and it's my fault you got to lay in it. But son, what I'm saying is, I chose your father, but I never thought for a moment that he wouldn't bother to exemplify the definition of the word. Mm -hmm. And though I would have preferred to, have you raised by us two? It just didn't happen that way. Mm -hmm. And now you're the character witness in custody disputes for visitation on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Son, I know you're angry with him for not being in your life, and all you want is to understand why. Wondering, is it something you've done to push him away? But what hurts you hurts me. So daily I pray. Because I know what you're going through, son. See, I can relate. I got a few scars for the left in the pain. See, I cried some nights because she wasn't there. Got a strong taste at a young age of how life just ain't fair. You know, the parallel of our stories is something. Because just like a woman can't raise a man, a man can't raise a woman. There'll always be something missing. That if you're not careful, you'll find yourself fishing and looking for love in all the wrong places. That's why I tell you, son, don't hate him for what he doesn't do. Because that hate can backfire and potentially destroy you. Mm -hmm. Just channel it and focus on being your best. Show life that when it comes to a challenge, you're up for the test. Mm -hmm. Too strong to be stressed. And that out of a mess could come something so blessed that even the most powerful men would envy. But just know you're going to get plenty of splinters from bench riding. But through hard work and determination, you'll come out shining. The star in the starting line. Put him in the mind of an MVP and manifest the dreams in you that I could always see. Son, treat a woman the way you want a man to treat me. Strive to be a husband and father and not a baby daddy. Be the exception and not the rule in the black community. Son, I love your optimism and your innocence. In a sense, you're just like me, always trying to see everyone's best, but ending up hurt when they give you much less. But don't let their attempts to bring you down affect your attitude. Always let them see the God in you, because I got your back, but I'm not trying to cripple you. So I loosen my grip on you. Let you take your bruises and bumps, your losses and lumps, I'm trying to shield you somewhat from the struggle and strife. But I've got to give you the real. Because sometimes in life, the world will give you worse and make you think your black arm is a curse, that your worth is in a mic or a ball. Mm -hmm. But you have to show them all. You have no limits, not even the sky. Possibilities are endless, mm -hmm. as long as you're not afraid to try. Mm -hmm. When a mother bird pushes her babies out of the nest, she doesn't think they're going to fall, but she hopes she's giving them the tools they need to fly. And son, I see you soon. 